Salutations gamers and welcome back to another episode of the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make thumbnails again. A lot has changed since the five months that I made the last video and yeah, I have a way better technique to do it. And this time we will learn how to port models. Don't worry, it won't take an hour like most videos. It will take literally two minutes. It's not hard. So with that being said, let's get started, shall we? We'll need UE Viewer, which allows us to basically yoink the models of the game and choose and customize outfits, which is pretty darn helpful. So just, you know, download the Win32 version. All links will be in the description, by the way. Once you've done that, follow all the instructions and open the Unmodel 64 shortcut. And here we are. You see this daunting control button and you don't know what the heck am I doing here? Well, allow me to elaborate. So first we need to set the po file path so we can actually get into our game. The easy way to do that is click on Steam, Library, right click on Dead by Daylight, Properties, Local Files, and Browse. Now once we do that, we're in! And then we just left click on here, don't click on any of these, it'll, it'll send you to each of them. Just click on the side here, Control C, and delete all this because you're done with that now. And now we go back here, Control V that in there. And now you want to check this box here and set it to Unreal Engine 4, and Unreal Engine 4.27 because yeah some tutorials become outdated and this may change so be on the watch for that and then once we're done with that we click OK. Now once we are in we see all the files here for every single dang thing we could ever want in this game but we're only looking for characters here because we're making renders unless you want a bush for an ungodly reason so then we scroll down and then we find game and characters. We want to click on the arrow here and campers and survivors and slashes for killers. There's actually a discord server which I'll link in the description which has access to all these things because they are code names the files. And once you're in the discord server if you want to find out the code names you click on FAQ. You scroll up like nuts like a lot a lot scroll up and then you come here where it tells you all their code names. And we want to port in you know good old blight which is K21. So we go back here and click on K21 right click on this and click open file content and here we are we see this gross flattened out blight like he got run over by a car but no need to fear we can fix this so we click on navigate and include measures so now the way to navigate through this menu to find out different models is page up and page down which are located just above your arrow keys on your keyboard it's just pg up and pg down and you click those and you can just navigate through them. And look, whenever I click it over and over again, you can see each blight model. But wait, you might ask, why is it only their bodies? Where's their weapon? Where's their head? Well, allow me to explain, my friend. Each model is in pieces so they can, you know, change the cosmetics in Dead by Daylight. So with that, we're gonna import our favorite blight outfit, or any blight outfit that may seem cool. So we'll just do the one we have in game right now. So yeah, we got the one we want here. We found it after navigating through every one of these. But now you might ask, how do we apply this? Well, First of all, we have to tag it, so we click Control t and now it's basically locked in here. And then when we click Page Up again, it adds the other model on top of it. But now we would just want to find the head, which I like the head. This blue here will not last, it's just a game thing. And yeah, this is the blight head I'm using, so I'm just going to click Control t Now once we have all our models Control d we want to go Tools, Export to Current Object. And here we are. Um, first of all, what you want to do is on your desktop here, you want to create a separate file to put this all in, because that would be very helpful. So just create another folder, and name it whatever you want. Big Boy Blight. Sure. And then we click Select Folder. And we don't need to mess with any of this, and yeah, just click OK. Your computer may bug out for a little, it may lag just a tad, but then once you can move again, you're completely fine. You can just snap everything shut. And the next thing we'll need is to download Blender right here. So download that and follow all the instructions. And now once we're in Blender, we want to delete the default cube. Nobody likes you! The add-ons you want to download are Blender Import PSK PSA add-on, Few Skeletons, and UE Shader Script 1.28. Now what you want to do is click Code and download as a zip. And there it is! Once you have that, just drag it on your desktop and do not unzip this file. Once we're back in Blender, you want to click Edit references and then add-ons if it's not already clicked and click install and then you want to go on desktop and then find it right here and you double click on that since so i already have this installed it won't be an issue because you just go psk psa and you'll see it right there checked and if it's unchecked you click the check mark and boom it's installed and yeah and then pause this video do it for all three add-ons and come back to learn some more now once we have all our add-ons installed let's learn some navigation controls you click the scroller button you push it down to give yourself a rotating motion and if you hold shift and then click the scroller, you can do a little pivoting. And yeah, that's all you really need to know, because with that, you can just move around easily. Now what you want to do is click N to open this side menu here, where we can find all of our things. And click PSA slash PSK. 
and then we want to import a PSK. Of course, we put it in our desktop, and we put it in the Big Boy Blight file because we felt like it. And then we just click Big Boy Blight Game Characters Slashers K21, and then we want to click this bookmark button here, so we'd have to go in and out of it every so often. And there we go. Now what we want to do is click Models, Heads, and click that. Boom! We got our head in Blender. And now you might ask, why the heck does it look so ugly? Look at the low polygon count. Well, actually, in Devodelli, it has low polygons because it wants to save all resources. What we do to combat this is we click on it, right click, and shade smooth and look how smooth that blight is nice now you might be asking where the heck is the rest of his body well you just import the psk again k21 or whatever your killer's name is in the discord thing models bodies and the body boom we got his body too shade that smooth by right clicking and shading smooth you can also shade it fly if you're a weirdo like me but nope now boom we got our blender now let's start to rig show oh my god why is he headless well that's because we haven't fused the bones yet so to fuse the bones we click on the bones with left click and then shift click on the other bones to select multiple and then make sure of shift click the body because you want all your bones to be centered towards your body orientation and then you want to go into this add-on right here on your menu click on it and few skeletons. Now, oh boy, they move together. Now, the first thing you want to do is, because Eevee sometimes breaks when using these kind of models, so you want to click that and turn it to cycles. And if you have a GPU, please turn it on right now, because CPU sucks, and you will hear your fans blowing extremely loud from your computer. And now what I do is click this to see what it looks like in render view. But you might be asking, what? Why the heck does he look like garbage? Where are all the textures? Where's the colors? Well, that, my friend, is what we're going to do next. So we go back into here by clicking the solid object view, or actually click the texture one so we can see. And see, this blight is kind of white. But now what we want to do is click on the UE, and then we want to click this right here. So we can create a file path to find our textures very easily. Now click on that. Now click on that. Click desktop. Big boy blight. Game. And that's all you need. Just go into game. Do not go any further because it will corrupt the files. And then click accept. Now whatever we want to select textures to, we click on it. And then we click this button right here. It may lag a little because it's kind of a lot of resources to do. And there we go. Look how beautiful our blight looks. Now we just click on his body. And do it again. Now you may be wondering if some parts of your body doesn't exactly turn the color. And to combat this, we just click add shader to multiple meshes on the bottom one. And boom! Look at our beautiful blight. Just close that menu by clicking N. How the heck do we pose this big boy? Well, allow me to elaborate. We select him right here by clicking any of the bones here. And instead of object mode, we use pose mode. To learn how to pose, you click R to rotate. You click G to move. S to scale. And I don't have a cool rhyme for this. Now, if you want to orientate its certain directions instead of doing this tedious garbage, you click R and then X because the X because it's on the X axis. Same with R and Y because it's on the Y axis right here. And also, you can drag click so you can affect multiple things at the same time. Now, what we want to do is. It's Pose, this man. Alright, now once you have that done, all you want to do is click from Pose Mode to Object Mode. And then you click on here. And the eyeball, not this button, because this will hide the whole render. So you click on the eyeball to hide the bones. Let's see what it looks like in render view, shall we? Looks like trash, doesn't it? And that's because we have some things we need to fix now, do we? The first thing we want to fix, obviously, is the camera angle. We have no camera angle. We click this camera button that snaps to our view. And what the heck is this? So now the next thing we want to do is add a camera view. So click from solid mode, because your computer might crash. And click this camera button, because it'll snap you instantly to the view. Now you want to do is click on the camera's border. Click view navigation and walk navigation so now you can do this control it like a video game wasd shift to go faster q and e to descend and i'll put on any perspective you want it you can put it here if you want perk builds on the side you can put it in the middle if you want to be like look how cool my blight is it really depends on what you have an idea for if you want to add perks into a place then by all means do it now the next thing you want to find out is what the heck is the youtube resolution well i'll have you know it's 1280 by 720 and boom we have it now we look render this and why does it look like garbage where's our lighting where's our dynamic lighting we need lighting i know back then in my older video i said point lights are so good because you can put them everywhere you want and it'll look amazing in the end well don't listen to past me there's a new technique that's far better than this garbage here so the first thing we want to do is click shift a and then we want to add in an area light 
and this allows us to light up a certain area within the square. So now, how you edit this light is you click on this light bulb right here, and you can change the color of it and the intensity of it. I like to have mine pretty high at 100 because the models are not very big. You always want to add in a little aura around them so you can tell what you're looking at because then you could differentiate from the background later on. And then we always want to add in a light that's not as intense but in the front. So we put the light in the front here and then we turn the volume down so our lights could show through. And boom! Look how nice it looks. Now we can change these to any dynamic color we want. I'm going to choose blue because I like how blues and oranges contrast with each other. And boom! Look how good it looks! Now we click this to hide the lighting, and yeah, we can see our render at its fullest. Click on this render output, or the television, and then click film, transparent, because we'll be using this for later. And then afterwards, we want to change the max samples from 4960 to 250. And then afterwards, in perform, we click on this performance button right here, and then change this from 2048 to 64, so it renders in tiles. And yeah, once you have all that set, we click render and render image. It rendering could take up to like two minutes to an hour, depending on how good your computer is. So yeah, hopefully it's the uh, it's the bottom, it's not the ladder. Now we click save as and save this anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it on my desktop because I'm just that kind of guy. Now this is usually where the tutorial would have ended, but I figured out a way to edit images much easier without using Blender because Blender can be very tedious with newer with new people using the composite nodes and yeah, it's a lot harder to accomplish what you really want to do. So close down Blender and, and then open up this website called Canva. You can make an account and then you can do a whole bunch of things with it, including outlines, which are very important for thumbnails. And then you click this, create a design, import file, and then import your blight. Now after all that, you scroll down, depending on how far your thing is, and you click on this. Boom, you got your blight here. Now you want to use this as a design, and it'll open up a new tab. Now right here we have our blight with a boring white background, which we can we can fix. The nice part about doing this, you can move this around, so you can put perk builds somewhere, or you could just have it as a nice render. I'm just going to show you examples of what you can do, though. First thing we want to do is get a background. I'm just going to show Mac Millen Estate DVD. And look at all the choices here. I'm going to choose this one because of its... High resolution, and yeah, I used it in the last video, might as well use it in this video. And just drag it to the desktop, and grab this for the desktop, and snap it in there. Now what you want to do is, click on position, and backwards, so it's behind your render. And then you want to scale that up. In the basic thumbnail, you can add anything you want. And if you click adjust, you can add a vignette, which is actually very nice for making thumbnails. Turn up the X processing a little, so it looks a little nicer in the eyes. And you can even blur it, and give it a blue tint. And look how nice they look so far. Tools I found very useful are shadows and color mix. Shadows lets you put a very nice outline around your render. Like so. It does delete your changes you've made, but you just go back and change them again. And you turn the transparency up, so it gives you the outline, and you change the size. So it's like, whoa. And then click apply. Vibrance is something you might want to turn up a little because it adds contrast. And there we go. Looks pretty good so far. And now with this base plate, you can add anything you want. Literally anything. You could dr you could add in perks that you could find on the website and be like, Whoa, save the best for last is so overpowered. And then you click text and you click add a heading. Or any of these presets right here that are actually very good. And you can even change the fonts. There's so many fun fonts to use. I highly recommend trying them out. And then by clicking on effects, you can add a shadow to you and then make this black. So it just pops really nicely. And there you go. I know the thumbnail may look really bottom tier, but I just I threw some quick things up together just to make it, um, just to show you that you could do this too, very easily. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I really hope you learned something. With that being said, have an excellent evening and a fantastic night, and I'll see you in this video. Au revoir.